All right, what is up everyone? Today I got this line here and we are going to create this guy into a monster. So we're gonna make him a little bit more scarier than he is. So let's get started. All right, let's drag this in a new file. So created a new file, just put this one in the new one and make sure it's the right size. Something like that. And let's rasterize this and make the quality a little bit better. So go to camera roll filter, zoom in a little bit and Let's sharpen this image so you can see more details. All right, that is fine. And I want to make this line like really scary. So I'm just going to remove the pupils. So just select the lasso tool. Make this little circle around it. Go to fill and select content aware. Press OK. And if it's not so nice, you can always use the clone stamp tool. Make it a little bit softer. Make sure the hardness is zero and just brush it a little bit. Maybe a little bit more. And we can do the same here. All right. I think it looks scary already, but we're going gonna to make it more scary than this. So All right, now let's do some dodge and burn here. So create a new layer, create a clipper mask, filled with 50% gray, and change it to overlay. And let's lighten up these eyes. So use the dodge tool. And we can even do highlights. Not too much. I like his eyes are glowing. Let's make a new layer on top of it. Select some color from the eye. A little bit more color. And it changes the overlay. Create like these glowing eyes. Maybe that the right side is too much, so I'll just drop the opacity. All right, let's make sure this is in our folder. This is a lion. And let's create another layer. Create all clipping masks here. And let's fill it again with 50% gray. Change this to overlay. And let's do some burn here. So select burn tool. Highlights first. So I want to make these darker areas a little bit darker. This is where we have shadows from this lion. I want to make sure it's darker than it is. A little bit here around his eyes.
Now a little bit of mid-tones. Drop the exposure. And make sure these lighter areas here stay light or else it will be all black and we won't see details anymore. So just gently brush these areas. Maybe not so much here, maybe a bit here. So you are creating like this scary line. And some shadows. If you drop this to like 10%. Alright, so this was before and this after. It's a lot dark now. But let me drop the opacity a bit or else we won't see the details anymore. Alright, let's do some dodge. I'm gonna create a new layer for this one. So I can adjust that separate from the burn. Create a clipper mask again and fill it with 50% gray. Change it to overlay again. And let's do some dodge. So we can lighten up these areas. Let's do mid tones. These little areas that are lighter, a little bit around his eyes because the eyes are glowing. His fur here because it's sticking out. You can even drop this more. For this after end, drop the opacity again. His nose a little bit lighter. All right, let's drop some color from it. So I'm gonna create a new situation layer. Select this and bring this a little bit down. I want to make sure it's eyes are like really in the center of this image so I'm just gonna select this tool and make like this square and drag it to that side to make sure it's like the same place so this is perfectly in the center let's create some darker and lighter areas so I'm just gonna create a brightness and contrast layer on top of it Make a clip mask and drop the brightness all the way down. I'm just going to use a fog brush for this one. So select the fog brush, select the black color and just make sure his eyes stay light. So I'm just going to press a couple of times here and like a little bit here. So he's a little bit in the dark now and let's also do some curves here. I don't want to do it too much because the contrast is going to be really, really high. So I don't want to have that too much. So just a little bit extra on this. I think it looks pretty scary already. Okay, so I've got this flames here. I'm gonna create some fire particles around him, so I'm just copying that in this in this file and change the blending mode to screen. Press Ctrl L, or Command L to bring up the levels to make sure the black is really black. And let's put some 
particles around them to make this image more interesting. I can even create like fire around him, but I think it will be a little bit too much for this. So it's gonna use only particles. Like these burning things fr flying around him. A couple more here. So I'm just copying that layer and turn it around. Place it all around him. Something like that. Now I want to create a little more, more light on the right side because we have lighting coming from there. So I want to lighten up this side a little bit more. So I'm going to select something like this as a color. Make a little dot and change the blending mode to overlay or soft light and place it like there on the right side. And I think it's too orange now so I just press Control Command U and we can bring up the lightness and drop the situation. Maybe not too much. Like that. So we have a little more light on this right side now. We can even make it smaller. And drop the opacity. So I saved this file as a PNG file now and open up in Lightroom. I have all these presets now on my website. So if you want to get these, I'll put the link in the description. So these are all the, all the presets that are available now on my site. So I'm going to use one of these. I think I like the first one, second one as always. And select this one first. And edit a little bit of the settings here. Don't want to make it too bright or else all the details are, details are lost. So slightly editing everything here. Okay, that is fine for this one and I'll just export this and save it and also gonna do the other preset, the first one. Alright, so this is the first one. And also save this. So export. Make sure to use unique names. Okay, back in Photoshop again. These are the two files I just created in Lightroom. And I open them up in Photoshop again. And just copy them in a file. Top of the other layers. Also this one. And you can see it makes a huge difference if you use like these presets and not too much, so I'm just gonna drop this down to around 80. Always use like 80, 70, 60. And 
this one. This one is a little bit too dark, so I'm probably gonna only use the right side of it. So I make a mask of it. It's like gradient tool. Press D to make sure your colors are white to black, and just make that like this little line. So this was before Lightroom. And this is after. And let's do some curves. To get all the colors right and make sure the lighter areas are a little bit lighter and the darker, a little bit darker. Like that. It's a little bit more blue in it now. And some color balance. And if it's too much, just drop the opacity. Alright, that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something new and see you in the next one.